It's live on KEXP. I'm John Richards, host of The Morning Show. Couldn't be happier to be here broadcasting live from Seattle, streaming 24-7 at kxp.org and the mobile apps. And uh, just a reminder that we are a nonprofit supported station. So sessions like the one you're about to see and hear are supported by you. So if you go to kxp.org, make sure you donate to the station. I'm joined by a band. Rumor has it played three hours Last night, a lot of people checking in today, tired today, and very excited about your session. One of my bands growing up definitely uh, just just lived a few of your records early in uh, when I was discovering music. So it's an honor to have you here today. The Church, live on KEXP. All right. Thank you. Not a 
Church live here on KEXP, sounding great. How was the uh, Steve? How was the show last night? It was really wonderful. Yeah, it was a great way to start the tour. That's for sure. Yeah. Do Do you have memories of Seattle? Your Your first time playing here, or early when you I, played here? I do remember my first time vaguely. It was like a could have been a sort of a conference center or something <laughs> where they had gigs in those days. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Was it good? Do you remember anything jump out of you? You know what? There are some cities that instantly yeah. take to you. Right. And I have to say, Seattle, as strange as it may seem, it could be a song in this. Seattle, <laughs> talk to us. <laughs> Seattle, talk to me. Seattle liked us and we like Seattle. And it's always been a good place for us in America and in the world. Uh, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, it could yeah. be Seattle, it could be Melbourne, it could be... Birmingham. Yeah. You know? And then other places, you go next door and they don't like you at all. <laughs> have, you, have you had cities where you're like, we're going to get them eventually? Have you won uh, over a city? I, t no, I tell you, it's a city we've never bloody won over, <laughs> and that's Paris. Really? And even last time we were there, someone punched Ian in oh. the street. They spat. <laughs> they spat. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. All right, well, you have some work to do yeah, there. Yeah, some work to do on Paris. Uh, put that in the memorandum, Jeffrey Kane. More work on uh, Paris. That's in France, you know. <laughs> All right, you ready for another one? Yeah. All right. This a little, a little number about... All these songs are from the Hypnagogue. This little number about um, Eros Cedar, who's our protagonist and our hero. He's got this sidekick who's been with him forever. He's, uh, he's his faithful guitar tech. Even though it's 2054, he's still got a guitar. And his guitar tech goes with him to the hypnagogue. And they go into the hypnagogue together and the guitar tech never comes out. And this little song sort of be bewailing his absence. It's called Albert Ross. <laughs> Delicious encounter 
Church. It sounds great. I love that song. Thank you. God, such a peaceful song. I don't know. Just the story behind it, though, not so much, right? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little scared how it all turns out. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin it for me. Okay. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler alert. They all die. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you were going there. Don't get attached Damn to that it. guy. He's going to go. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about the concepts for people right. who aren't familiar? In 2054. Okay. The record's a concept. Just Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, it's a concept okay. record. Concept record. Okay. okay. And now we've got two records describing this concept. Yep. So we've got a new record out. Uh, uh, and, and there's a book coming on Monday in awesome. Ventura. Oh, cool. There's going to be a book as well. And the bubble bath arrives the next day. <laughs> Hypno bubbles. <laughs> Look, in 2054, it's a pretty sorry rundown tear me down future yeah. and there's this flaky feckless pop star called eros zeta and he's got a band called the perfume guitars he used to be a pretty big rock star but he's uh he he's got writer's block and he's addicted to a drug called sky which has actually been made from this alien spaceship which crashed and they find this stuff on board and the Chinese army make a drug called Sky and he's on Sky all the time and now he can't write songs and he hears about this process called the hypnagogue and he helped and it's in Korea and there's a lady there who's invented it called Sun Kim Jong and he flies from Antarctica where he lives because Sydney's uninhabitable by now yeah. and he flies to he flies to Korea and he meets her and they make this music, but it has fatal implications for them and everybody who listens to it. You know, a few years ago, I'd think, wow, that story, that could never happen. Now I'm like, yeah, no, that sounds about yeah, right. No, yeah, no, that yeah. Could, yeah, no, that sounds, really? You Stranger think it'll take that long to get to the story? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we started this album in 2019, and then oh, we had bushfires yeah. and COVID, yeah. and we got slowed down. Well, in a way, did that inform some of what you were writing to? No, tried to not let it because it was miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So what do we have next? So what we have next. So there is this guy, Eros Zeta, and he's banned the perfume guitars. 
And now the church has actually reimagined a whole album of what he might, what his band might have actually sounded mm. like before he got addicted to Sky. So this was one of, this song we're going to do now is one of his hits that he had in about 2050 before he dried up. Got it. Okay. And it's, it's called Realm of Minor Angels. KEXP, The Church, live here on The Morning Show. So you have the, the book, the record, the yeah. follow-up record, the bubble bath. Yeah. It's got to be a movie. Something like Probably. I See the Wall meets Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure meets Ziggy Stardust yeah. meets some things I haven't thought of yet. Um, look, I'm already negotiating with Netflix, but it's, it's a bit of a secret at the moment. Okay, I'll keep We've it. We've got some big names playing these. We've got... I'm not going to drop any names, but Harry Styles has signed up nice. to play Eros Cedar. Yeah, that makes He's sense. He's got to dye his hair blonde and grow it long and lose some weight <laughs> and do some more, have some better dancing lessons to play our hero. You're going to connect with a whole new audience. You know what I, you're doing. I know, I know. <clears throat> hey, uh, before we get to the uh, the last song, um, would you want to introduce your band real quick? Yeah. Um, on drums, um, from Camperdown in New South Wales in Australia, Please, can we get a warm welcome? <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was last night. 
How? On drums, <laughs> we have... <laughs> on drums, we have Mr. Nicholas Meredith. Give it up. On, on the guitar and the keyboards, and an absolute songwriting engine, <laughs> can I please present for your delectation <laughs> from Alabama, Jeffrey Kane. Thank you, Jeffrey. Good to see you. From Melbourne, Victoria, which is the Garden State, He's a lead guitarist. He's famous all around Australia. We now have him in the church. Please, a warm welcome for Mr. Ashley Naylor. <laughs> and finally, on the other lead guitar, he was in Australia's biggest band ever. He now graces us with his presence. On the lead guitar from Brisbane, Queensland, please, Mr. Ian Hogue. What is the biggest? Band ever. The biggest band Australia ever had. Yeah? Yeah. Was? Powderfinger. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, good to have you. Not the BGs. It wasn't in the BGs. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> and, uh, Jeffrey, you wrote me the nicest message the other day, by the way. I want to thank you for that. It was a very sweet message, and everything we're trying to do here during the pandemic, you said you listened and listened to KEXP, and it helped through those times. And uh, I just appreciate that, that you took the time, man. It's so good to have you here. I'm glad to, I'm glad. It's always good to put a face to the names that come in too. So thank you. Pre appreciate you. He doesn't even return my messages. <laughs> he wrote I me. Said, I, I wrote, I wrote to him and said, what's the, he's ghosting me. I said, what are the chords for the new song? And he said, piss off, figure them out. I had to. That checks out. <laughs> All right. We got one more from the church. All right. This is the last song. This is the end. This is the, at the end, a very philosophical, our hero um, is very philosophical. He's sort of sitting there. It's all over and he's got nothing to show for it. And there's a little song here called Second Bridge.
So good. The church live here on the morning show. Thank you guys so much. And um, Steve, I, it, just really quick. Um, when I was, young, I've I dealt with some severe depression uh, over the years. When I was really young, I was having a really, really hard time. And a friend of mine, my friend Chad, uh, he gave me the starfish tape. And I held on to that thing like it was a life jacket in, in, a, wow. in, a, in a open water. And I would fall asleep to your voice. And it was like a warm blanket that just... Wow. It really helped me. And to be able to thank you for that, it means a lot to me. Well, that's beautiful. That really is. What more could an old musician <laughs> want than that? Seriously. You that's have a impact. Beautiful thing. You have impact. I'm really, yeah. I'm old, I'm old misty, I've got to say. <laughs> well, and it that. reminds me to tell people, look, um, don't give up because, well, maybe one day you'll be sitting in a studio with the church. You don't know. <laughs> um, but it, it really did help me quite a bit. And, I, and your music since then has. And it's been an honor to play and listen to it over the Thank years. you very much. It, uh, it's been amazing to have you all in. Thank you for coming in and taking the time after not a lot of sleep. I really appreciate yeah. that. So good. Uh, good luck on the tour, too. Good Thank luck. You. How about California? Going to be all right? Yeah. They all right with you all? They <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank our crew in here as well. And I want to thank everybody who makes these sessions possible. You can go to kxp.org slash live to make a gift to make them possible. We are listener supported and that's how these things happen. And now we, uh, we're heading over to Cheryl's show. This is KEXP Seattle. Thank you. Yay. Discover great music at kexp.org.